Teachers around Oklahoma are getting training and resources to help teach students about the Holocaust. It's the ongoing mission of a coalition that helped pass the bill that made Holocaust education mandatory starting in sixth grade. News on Six's Chen Doan is live with what teachers learned from the conference in Tulsa today. Chen? Tatum, that conference theme is It All Begins With Words, Voices from the Holocaust. Today's eight-hour training had a dozen presenters whose goal is to empower teachers and students. You can ask the students to write down questions so I could put you in your group and they could write all the questions they have. Talking about the Holocaust, especially with students, often leads to a lot of questions. Why didn't they resist? Why did others cooperate? And, um, you know, why, does, why did we not do anything to start with? Linda Uselman from Oklahoma Union in Owada County joins dozens of teachers from around the state to get the tools they need to teach the Holocaust. The Eva K. Unterman Conferences for Holocaust Education is named after Tulsa's own Holocaust survivor. Organizers say this free training, which also gives teachers professional development credit, focuses on those who teach English, visual arts, and social studies. We're providing resources and we're giving teachers insights on how to teach this very important subject. State Representative John Waldron from Tulsa co-authored Senate Bill 1671. The law requires the Holocaust to be taught starting in the sixth grade. We're teaching students lessons about man's inhumanity to man, but also our incredible resilience. And we're trying to promote compassion and understanding so that tragedies like this won't happen in the future. Experienced teachers like Yuselman say these trainings help remind them they too need to constantly be learning. Talk to people, read the stories, expand your knowledge. The same conference will be in Norman next Monday and then Lawton next Wednesday. There are also resources online to help teachers. Live in Tulsa, Chindone, Oklahoma's own News on 6.